All right, <clears throat> so this is all taken apart, so bear with me. I did it this way so that way you didn't have to sit through, you know, an hour's worth of fucking bullshit. But uh, we're doing the crankshaft pulley on a 7120. Um, 7120 Case IH Magnum. It's a 80, excuse me, 91 model, I think it is, something like that. Or I didn't even... I didn't even clean that off. doesn't really matter. I got to comb this back out. I did that when I hit the uh, uh, viscous fan. So uh, on this front timing cover. So right here is where the seal sets. I'll show you the seal. <clears throat> Here's crankshaft pulley. Crankshaft pulley is actually uh, moved. It's very minute, but it is moved. Um, I wish you could see it. It's very slightly off. And it's it's so oil impregnated, it's just, it's time. And this is the other thing. Um, uh, it's supposed to be balanced, guys. Keep it balanced. So here's a new seal. Here's the plastic wear sleeve and stuff, or plastic sleeve that they use to install it. Then it's got the depth setter. I'm not gonna use that. I have my own reasons. Uh, I I put in many a seals. So, anyways, so what you guys got to do on this is, what I ended up doing is I took the hood struts off. This does have the safety lock and it is engaged. So safety's lock is in. Um, there's nothing else holding it up. So what I do is I take the shroud off. I take the viscous fan off, and there comes with pulleys. There's four bolts. I believe it's uh, 11 sixteenths, five eighths. Where did I put that? Oh, I put it in the parts washer, excuse me, because it was dirty and full of shit. But you pull this stuff off, um, you take the belt off. So you take the, the regular belt off, the serpentine belt, and this belt's in good shape, so we're not going to replace it. You take the AC belt off, it's in good shape, we're not going to replace it. <clears throat> you take the four lower bolts on both sides, there's a plate here. It'd be this plate, this is what holds the, the hood, the side skirt hood. You take it off so that way you can get that assembly. You kind of have to work it around the AC pump and the fan around it. Um, but you take all, all eight of these bolts out on both sides. A couple of them have P clamps for the burp tank and then you pull it out. Um, this is a good time to check your pulleys. Um, this tractor is, it keeps losing antifreeze. So we're gonna actually replace the water pump Water pump is right here. Make sure you get the serial number corrected. Uh, water pump, they made, I think, four different versions of these through the series of 8.3s. Um, alternator doesn't sound real nice, but he said don't worry about it. Um, you can see the dirt and the shit that's built up on the, the uh, pulley here for the tensioner. We're not going to deal with that. Um, it's not bad, so we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to get this out of the way so that I don't break it. Um, so yeah, you uh, when you install that, basically go off your manufacturer uh, stuff, so that way it's all done. I better turn this back. I'm sorry guys, I started this video out this way and I'm gonna go over here. Um, but this is a tractor, 7120 Magnum, um, knee deep in rubber, I mean this tractor's, <laughs> it's got decent duels and like brand new drivers, but uh, um, in the 8.3 book, I have a Cummins 8.3 book, and I'll, I'll cap to that. So we're at the 8.3 Cummins book. Um, this is an actual Cummins service manual. Um, I bought this at an auction probably 15 years ago. So, But anyways, this talks about the cover and all that stuff. Um, I am doing a cover gasket, so I am going to be doing this. I'm not going to be putting copper coat on it like it says in this. Uh, manual. I I use uh, aviation form gasket. I think that stuff works better. The copper coat, lack of a better terms, it's a sealant. It's a silicone sealant, and I'm not a silicone person. I oil and silicone don't mix, so I'm not gonna. We ain't gonna go down that road. Um, so I'm gonna use aviation form gasket. Um, install cover gasket. Do not tighten the cap screws yet. And the reason being is they claim that they want you to use a service tool. It's an alignment tool. It drops it down in. Um, I'm not a fan of that. Um, 
we use the seal to center it. So you basically just finger tighten them and then you back it off and have a revolution on the cap screws and then you get it all done. And then once you get the seal in, then you tighten it up with the bolts. And then there's the, the uh, uh, torque spec, 18 foot pounds, 24 Newton meters. And then this side, it goes into the alignment tool is removed and then you get the seal and you put, uh, they say to put Loctite 277 on it. I don't do that either. I put aviation forming gasket on it as well. Um, push the rear seal. So there's a plastic sleeve that goes on there and that's, it's on the seal. It comes with them from the factory. Um, then it says push it in and they, you know, they say do it alternating, you know, in the um, circular pattern, you know. Uh, tap on the bottom, tap on the top, tap on the side, tap on the side, tap on the bottom, tap on the top, you know. I just go where the high side is. I just feel with my hand, and it, it takes a little bit longer, but the advantage is, is you don't have any issues with it ever cocking. Um, I usually try and use a seal installer. Um, so then it talks about um, valve train, and it goes into a different, you know, replacing the camshaft and stuff. It's on the next page. But anyways, um, so what I have done in previously, it never, when it says to do all this stuff when you torque it, you know, I mean, uh, wherever it is, it doesn't give a torque spec. In here somewhere it does. But anyways, um, I'll go to the tractor here. On these bolts here, so what we have is, is there's four bolts and it's an 18 millimeter socket that goes in there and I use a two foot cheater bar or ratchet. They're fine thread, as you can see, you know, compare it to a, a three eighths cap screw and it's got basically the, the same pitch of threads. Um, this is a metric bolt um, and it's, it's one piece. There's no Loctite on it, nothing. So this is what we have. This is what they call a Cummins engine turning tool. Um, I ratchet strap these hoses and stuff up out of the way. You want to go just just where this is getting tight. Don't go any further because you're gonna you're gonna break this plastic. And I have done that. Why they designed it this way, I I'm not a designer of Case IH tractors in the 80s, so I can't I can't tell you why they did it this way. But my thoughts is this should be a rubber hose of sorts. But that's just my opinion. But anyways, um, coming ginger turning tool, you got to have that and you got to hold it down while you break them loose and tighten them when you torque them. When you tighten them, it's no big deal because it just goes up against here. But when you go to loosen it, it won't work. You, it, it just, it won't. The way it works, it just, it won't work that way. That's the whole deal. So, um... It's not terrible to do, but it, it, it can be a chore when you're, you know, you're spaced out from there to there. It's kind of hard to, you know, hold over here and then reach all the way over here. Um, I'm six foot tall, and it's it's a distance for me when you're pushing. Oh, it's probably, I want to say 100 foot pounds thereabouts, 125, give or take. Um, and after they've been sitting there tight, you know, it gets tighter and tighter. So, but, uh, um yeah that's uh interim this is the middle of putting that in um and then basically it goes together in reverse order you put the cover back on you put the seal in um then you tighten the bolts then you put the new crankshaft pulley on we're putting a new one on i think i mentioned that in the previous um these bolts are not through bolts so you do not have to put snot on them people that put just don't unless they're through bolts don't worry about it so I'll get my comb out and I'll comb this back up so that way it's done. That way it's got good air float. Now is a good time to blow out your radiator corners where the shroud sets, like right in here, um, because it doesn't get as much airflow. You know, it's going to pull it from basically this area in here, not so much in the center because of the fan uh, viscous pulley, but uh, or viscous clutch, I should say, excuse me. But... Uh, that's uh, that's what we'll do. End up doing. We'll uh, get all this back together, get it all sealed up, so that way we ain't blowing dirt into it. And then we'll blow it all out. It'll be clean and ready to go for the next service. Um, and hopefully we can get his issue of losing antifreeze 
and all that good stuff done. Um, he always adds it to here, but it never seems to suck it back up into there. So I'm wondering if there's a slight leak. There's nothing that shows evidence of it on the radiator side, but with the pan, or the cover leaking here, there's quite a bit of dirt that's built up on the water pump. So we're gonna go ahead and change the water pump and basically give her a once over. And once everything's done, you know, we'll get her put back together and she'll be ready to go. So it's unfortunate that we have to do stuff like this, but it's it's what they consider normal maintenance. You know, I mean, this, it's, I think these are uh, 160, 170 bucks. I think somewhere out in that range from case, but it's done. Um, I get a lot of my stuff from case because, well, lack of better terms, that's, you know, who made the stuff. I can get some stuff from Cummins, and I have, because um, some of the components in the oil cooler, they don't have at case. Um, they have better gaskets at uh, Cummins. They actually make a heavier-duty one. Um, people are know that have Cummins, they're prone on number one and number six to blow the gaskets out. This one has not, but it does have some exhaust leak. Otherwise, that wouldn't be black. So, anyways, that's 7120 Magnum front crankshaft seal. Um, when I go back together, I'll, I'll make another video and we'll get stuff put back together. Um, this was in a ditch to get the, get the light out. He thought that it wasn't grounding out, so we put a, a stud to it. Um, in theory, it should have went up to here, but it's uh, that's their deal not mine i ended up putting this extension wire on um it was in the field and he was going to bring it back to me and fix it right well it's finally coming back in it's not a big deal everybody understands when you're in the field and you're getting stuff done you got to get stuff done so it's best to get the farm work done so that way you can pay the bill for the next time i'm just fixing some stuff that you know common stuff i I'm very adamant on uh, keeping stuff uh, up to snuff and the customer knowing. Um, that way it's, uh, everything looks good. I'm just looking in here for certain, certain things going bad. Um, but yeah, anyways, over and out guys. Hopefully you guys have a uh, good rest of your day. And if you have any questions, just comment on this video and I'll answer them for you. Thank you. See you.